Hello and welcome to part 16 of my playthrough through Northern Journey. Let's get into it. I th oh yeah, uh, I think last uh, last episode the upload took so long. Oh, lovely. Where are the other ones? Huh. Okay. I think the reason why I was late on the premiere for the last one was because I had. Uh, I'm trying to think. I I. I hadn't restarted my computer for a while, so I think the uh, the uploading and such was taking way longer than it should have. Ooh. Nice. It is hard to see in here. Ooh, interesting. Move stone slide. Oh. Cool. happy with how many health, max healths I've gotten so far. It's quite good. And I know I'm gonna be... I'll get at least two-thirds by the end of my playthrough because I know there's 75 total. I don't know like how that makes me in... starts an interaction thing. I just hate that. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going here. I would be having... So many problems if this was my first time in. But I am resolved. And also show you why I'm not so scared right now. Later on when I get to it. Ooh, this one might have some editing work because it's kind of hard to navigate through here. And I might have to look around for health potions and stuff. I mean, not have to, but want to. <sighs> That's the problem with underwater is there's so much verticality to deal with when finding collectibles. You don't just scan the surface of the ground, you have to scan really everywhere, honestly. You have to keep an idea of your orientation and what you have scanned so far. Oh, oh, oh. And that's a little past tether thing. Potions. This will help me find my way. Oh, is there anything down here? No, it does not look like it. Um, I was thinking if there's anything I wanted to mention channel-wise, but I don't think there is. Actually, I think I should have my mic a little bit like that. I think right now I'm just my channel's slowly growing. I know who most of the subscribers are, basically. Well, I, I, it, in a general sense, I know all the subscribers. I can't... Uh, there's one person who has unsubscribed. I'm pretty sure I know who it is, but I can't really ask them because there's kind of no modes of private communication with them, so I don't know really what to do with that. I kind of want to just ask to see why they unsubscribed. I have an inkling... I wouldn't want to assume. And just be good to know. Okay, that looks like a way up. We'll check over this side then. Oh, and there's a health potion, or max health. Nice. Hopefully, if I provide enough informa good information, things to talk about. I don't have to edit the video as much, which is funny. 
Um, but that's totally not why I'm talking. Um, anyway, it's interesting. I look at the analytics for my channel. It's like 500 impressions, which is interesting. But I guess you get a ton of impressions either way. Um, a potion. I'll still need to scan around. So, looks like the... Does the cord tether go in? No, the tether goes past, so there should be... There might be good stuff in here. Or there might just be this emergency potion I can't pick up. Either way, it's important to check. But yeah, I think the channel's growing very slowly, but I, I'm, it's a lot of impressions. It's definitely more of the videos that are small and humorous that are get paid attention, which makes sense. You can make something you you can make something that's very small but entertaining, but it's hard to make something that's long and entertaining. Especially like a let's play of a game people don't really know. But I think it's also the fact that I, I have a headset mic. It's not the worst headset mic, but it's still a headset mic, so there's a bit of a problem there. And I still need to develop personality-wise. Gosh dang, I keep saying I need to talk about this stuff. I think this is an optional thing. I keep talking about... Ugh. I keep saying I need to talk about this stuff in another different video, but... But I never I haven't made that video yet. I feel like I need to gather more stuff up to talk about first. But anyway, it's interesting. Big fall. Not good. I think there. Are... Let's check. Uh, I think we check this out. Also, what happens if we walk away right now? Okay, we can't. But anyway, I will mention some stuff here. And then eventually make the big chan update channel thing, whatever video. Kind of explain it again with all the stuff. But I think the obviously one reason for not growth is I need to do my uh, inter something interesting. Which I have a, in mind of what I want to do, which is unique and interesting. But it just kind of takes time, and I definitely need would need a few subscribers, people actively watching, for it to for it to really show off. And I would need to, you know, develop the stuff, be software side stuff. But I think if I can pull it off, it would be something that people would be very interested in and would be very engaging. Also, just gotta like get a VTuber avatar. Just, that's. Oh, kind of want one. Jeez, kind of want one, and I don't know. I, I think it, uh, it helps in some ways. Please don't tell me this was the correct way, and I missed something back there because I went the correct way or something. I need to quickly scan these walls for any health potions or anything. Doesn't look like it. that the other the thread would lead me to some secret instead of where I needed to go but this is too expansive to be where I'm not supposed to be going well, uh, well, let's just finish up if I need to go back that definitely something I'll edit it out um, let me just actually quickly check to see if there's any health potions or anything right here. But yeah, I can easily edit that out. There's not really having to deal with enemies, so I don't have to edit that out. Uh, it's kind of stupid to be talking about what I need to edit and what I not. That's not kind of what the point of a video is. 
Uh, but I guess I'm starting out and learning. On s it's funny. It's, on some cases, I feel like the Northern Journey content is just literally just stuff that's... Ooh, lots of bones. It's something that's it's long and people don't watch, and I don't know if it detracts from my channel in the way of um, in the way of the you know, the, uh, what the algorithm sees but I think it's important for learning wise it's getting me more e more used to talking to in a recording okay I think this is the way jeez it's such ma it's a maze like Gets me used, more used to rec talking and recording and just general stuff. And also, I've been getting a lot of learning a lot for editing wise. So, I think it's a good, good uh, in total. And at the very least, I've been able to show off and find some new bugs to, for the developer. <laughs> I wonder how many days I single-handedly pushed back his other projects. <laughs> okay, this has to be the right way if it's been going for so long. Um, yes, okay. What I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna go real go quickly go back and make up and I'll see you back then so yeah there wasn't anything over there and I wasted a bunch of time oh other ones out first. Oh, a harpoon spear launcher. That sounds fun. Harpoon only in fable and infested areas. Even more fun. Oh, harpoons. And skull is missing. I need a skull. So you can see why I wasn't afraid of the water before, and why I'm not- I don't want to go in the water now. You see that thing down there? Yeah, that's the thing. I'm actually gonna try hitting it with the sling. Harpoons might be a thing that- yeah. Yeah, I cannot hit it with the sling on. Definitely not. So what we can try first is blitzing through it. I think this is just a part where you don't use a sling and sling only. I guess my sling only run is gosh, really strict. I'm I'm not gonna blitz through. Gosh hate. Oh, it's coming. There we go, got it. Gosh, I hate this. And I'm just gonna... Oh, fudge. Just trying to go through this fast instead of trying to go back and forth and... Oh, 
harpoon ready when I'm moving around. Okay, that. I think there's one over there. Yeah. That. Oh, fudge. There's another one. There we go. We're good. I'm gonna go back up and save now. Oh, I just do not like this place. be all of them or there better be another harpoon pickup real quick oh a skull all right and then I'll sweep the area for any more goodies all right there wasn't really anything of note but I did find five more harpoons from the right side over there which is good I don't want as many as those I can have I don't even think it tells me how many I'm allowed to carry total. But I can now, with the skull, go through this door here. Ooh. In the water in front of you, follow red lines to, uh, to find two rune crystals. The red... The Traveling Flute Player. I'm pretty sure that was not there the first time I played this game. It must have been because it was really intuitive. Um, okay, it's not infected waters. This is all fine. Funny thing is, in one of his recent devlogs, he mentioned he was thinking about making a side game while he's making a different game now. He's make a main thing and then side one, side one possibly where you're diving and be a really good game, especially if there's no, not a bunch of scary enemies. Nah, I'd be fine with the enemies then either way, just, uh, I like something calmer. And hopefully you can see farther away than you can in this. Now I know there's a max health around here somewhere. If I'm not wrong, it's like bit over on the side. I know there's this. Oh, and it goes into the hole. Just gotta be bits. Um, ooh, oh. I think he has more harpoons than he originally had. I swear there's less harpoons. There might be less enemies too, but I'm not sure. But that is nice. I want, oh, ooh, there is the health potion. So it's about to the right from where we entered. And right there, um, is there anything? I think this isn't actually progression because he said the red lines go to the crystal thing, the runes we need, and not progression. So we check this out real quick, in and out, real, real easy. Okay, let's check this area here real quick. Ooh, another max health. So generous. So generous. All right, let's keep following the red line. It's funny, the one time health potions aren't worrying me, it's because it's an area that I literally know can't have enemies. Uh, 
I think I'm thinking back my channel and stuff now and I think the real thing I need to do is just add, try to add more effort to add on to it like I've seen videos where people do kind of commentating things as they add pretty quiet music in the background that helps with the helps it splits off into two directions. Sounds good. Guessing we're getting close to the crystals if it's splitting off. That must be the two crystals we need. Okay. It's funny, your hitbox depends on what you're looking, so like my hitbox is twirling around there. If that makes any sense. Alright, there should be a crystal around here. Oh, this is the area that the crystals go to. Okay, that's kind of weird to put it there. Oh, you, oh no, okay, it's diving equipment. Oh, no. Just a second. Does it not tell me what's infested waters and what's not? Because I know that's a spider right there. Yeah, it doesn't tell me what's in festive waters. That's fantastic. I swear it did last time. So yeah, you can see that spider really clearly there. I'm gonna have to kill a lot of spiders. They're so much harder to see. Once you get in the water. That's a big one right there. Did, did I miss that shot? Okay, I think it was a two. No, I think I missed that shot. I'll probably take these spiders out. I might not make a compilation. It's tiring. You know what? I don't think I've been given enough weapons for this. I don't think ammo, I mean. I'm gonna try just going past them. I swear, they're just coming out of the woodworks. I don't have enough harpoons for this. I don't got enough. Oh my gosh, those are those ones alive? 
No, they're not. Those are dead ones. I don't have enough harpoons for this. Oh gosh. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Ah, wait, 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 get away. Get away. I have nothing to... Stop it. There's the crystal. There's harpoons. Okay, they were alive. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Okay. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. If there's any of them in my way, I'll just shoot them. I need to really quickly check for max health potions. There was one over here, but I can't find it, and I haven't been given enough harpoons. Mm. All right, let's get out of here. I hate that place. Put one of them in right now. Okay, I apparently I need to get both of them at once. So let's head back down here. End of this red rope, mm, red vines. Um, guess that's gonna lead back to the split. Uh, here's the split again. So where does the what does this go up to? What? I thought it was two runs. It was three. Okay, I I don't know anymore. All right, let's oh, go open up that door. Insert run. Insert run. Insert run. All right. You need something. You, you need to return something. All right. Name deep down, that's a great sign. Insert book, let's go. I have a vague idea where the health potion down here is. I swear there's like more than one. make a guide for finding all the health, max health potions, or at least the ones I know of, but it seems like it sounds like a pain to do, to be fair. Especially in these areas where it's so hard to figure out where you are. Oh, there's one. It's a pretty easy to find one. I have a general sense of where I am. I have this rope if I need it. It's funny how it goes directly through the rock. Any good stuff over here? Just doing a scan back and forth. Oh. 
for anything. Ooh, down here, definitely. Definitely something down here. What is down here? do is make videos with other people because I, I, I feel like I have I'm able to make good humor when it when there's other people around or really play off whatever people say but just in a plain recording there's just you can't do that no wonder and there'd be no reason why I have any training in doing that or anything else besides making videos Jeez, this place keeps going down and down. I'm worried that I'm going the correct way and I'm not finding the secret things. health potion. At this point, I'm just about fine with that. It's just too much. Game's not really made for you to find all the health, max health potions as much as I want to find them. But I found a good bulk of them. This looks like a... wait. Oh, that was the important thing. That was it. That was the important thing. I saw there was a path that wasn't going along the string. I had to check it. Oh, this is where the string's going to. And obviously the directly the opposite way is the max health. Nice. Up to 150 health. That was what I was kind of my goal. At least after this, it gets faster paced and stuff. Or maybe that's spoilers that it gets faster paced. Oop. Um. Oh, jeez, I was mush pushed around. Just, I feel like I, it doesn't work with my brain that wants to do, be completionist, or at least completionism, max health, and this game don't exactly really work. I swear, if I got turned around. Which 
check up here real quick. Doesn't look like anything. Oh, uh, one one genre I like, or not? I don't know if it's a genre, but there's one game called Outward, where you don't really have saves. It's it's like a roguelike, but it it deals losing to not be per permanent death. Um, there's a hardcore mode where there's a chance for permanent permadeath. But that, and there's this also something where you can permanently die, but besides that, you can, uh, it, I, it's really a nice mix. Ooh, ooh. Air bubbles. It's really nice. Yes, I knew it. Nice mix between her roguelike and something that's too easy to cheese. Ooh, those are not uh, harpoons. These are blistables. Can't see how many I can hold total, though. I can at least hold six, it seems. And open. You have en uh, enough permanent health. Nice. Picked up ballista. Beware the violent recoil. Okay, I can hold six of the bolts. I mean, technic. Oh, and this is the point of no return. Um, I guess I'm gonna. I guess I'll stop it here. It should be enough. It should be long enough now. And uh, because next on is the next zone. Let's see if I can continue my sling, sling only run besides obviously stabs and harpoon. Keep it going. See you guys next time. Bye.